So thank you very much for, for joining this session. Um, first of all, I want to get to know you. If you could unmute yourselves and tell me why you are interested in Costa Rica, I would really appreciate that. So maybe we can start with Brooke. Yes, so I'm really interested in Costa Rica, um, I guess because of the GT facility in Costa Rica, they have uh, classes I can take coming out of my freshman year. Um, I guess those are like really the big main reasons that I went, that I chose Costa Rica. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sure. Okay. I can go next. Um, I chose Costa Rica because there's a few classes I can take there that um, is needed for my degree plan. So that works out perfectly. And also um, I'm interested in the um, area and also um, study broads mandatory for my uh, major. So it just works out. Thank you. And last but not least. Hello. I am interested in going to Costa Rica because I think it might provide an opportunity for me to practice Spanish. I've heard the people there are really nice and it's very pretty. And also they have the exact class I was looking for to take before next, well, for the fall semester. Perfect. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing. My name is Gabriela and I'm the student services and study abroad manager here at Texas Tech Costa Rica. When you come, you will see we are a small campus. So we do a little bit of everything. That is why I do student services and study abroad. So I wanted to start with a presentation about first about our campus and then about Costa Rica. I hope it works. Last time it did not work, eh, but here it goes. And if you have any questions, you can interrupt me at any time. Okay, so that video was filmed about all the places were about one hour and a half away from campus. So that's one of the advantages of coming here. When you are not at class, is it's easily to go to the beach, to the waterfalls, to the mountains, to the volcanoes. Okay, this is a video uh, that's focused on our campus. Okay, have any of you been to Costa Rica or it would be your, your first time? This would be my first time. 
first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Costa Rica so that you know uh, where we are, who we are, and a little bit about our, our culture, and then more about the summer study abroad. Okay, so we are a small country located in Central America. We are bordered by Nicaragua to the north and Panama to the south. Meanwhile, the Atlantic and Pacific coast make up the rest of the borders. Um, so we have both coasts, the Atlantic and the Pacific. People say you can watch the sunrise in the Atlantic coast and watch the sunset in the Pacific coast the same day since uh, it does not take too long to get from one place to another. We are home to less than 5 million inhabitants, so we are really small. And we are divided in seven provinces, um, which are San Jose, the capital. Here is where campus is located. Cartago, Limón, Punta Arenas, Heredia, Alajuela, and Guanacaste. So when you come, you will get to know all of the provinces since we have excursions planned in each part of the country. Okay, our currency is the Colón. Our official language is Spanish. We have an official religion, which is Catholic, even though there are other types of, of religion. Um, we are considered the safest country in the region, in the Latin American region. So this is uh, added value for when you come here, you know you will be safe and nothing will happen to you. We enjoy a stable democratic political uh, climate, and that's part of the safety of the country. Um, the country and its people have a peaceful disposition. So I think one of you said people are really nice here. So yes, it, it makes it a, a great place to vacation. And the fun fact is that we have no army since 1948. And what we do instead of funding an army, we fund public the public education system. Okay, so um, our country covers only 0.03% of the Earth's surface, but we are housed to 5% of the world's biodiversity. So all of these pictures are places that you will visit while being here. We are home to 290 inactive or extinct volcanoes, but we have five active volcanoes, which are the Irazú, Turrialba, Puaz, Arenal, and Rincón de la Vieja. You will probably get to know El Puaz and Arenal volcano while being here. 26% of the country is protected by national parks and reserves, and we generate our electricity using 99% renewable energy. Um, energy sources. Do any of you know what a blue zone is? Okay, so a blue zone is where people live a uh, longer than the rest of the population than the rest of the world. And that is due to elements like a uh, eating wisely, moving naturally, um, community, all of these things. So according, so Costa, Costa Rica has one of the five blue zones in the world. In Nicoya, this is also a place that we will be visiting when we go to the beach. And according to the Happy Planet Index, we are one of the happiest countries in the planet. Our life motto or our main slogan is Pura Vida. I, I bet you've heard of it. And I also bet that when you leave, you will be saying Pura Vida as if you were locals. It is a, a motto that translates directly to pure life and people use it to say hello, goodbye, thank you, you're welcome. Okay. 
Okay. So how many of you are interested in summer one in the six week program? I am. I Thank am. you. Okay, the three of you. Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, you would have to arrive Sunday, May 29th. And Monday, we would host a, an orientation. The program runs from Sunday, May 29th through Sunday, July 3rd. Okay, this is the estimated program fee. This does not include tuition. And what it includes is shared accommodations at the, what we call the TTUCR dorms, the residents. It, it includes daily breakfast, laundry. It also includes weekly laundry and they will clean your room once a week. It includes the airport pickup and drop off the orientation session, access to all Texas Tech Costa Rica facilities, and weekly cultural activities and three big excursions. What's not included in this price is the Texas Tech tuition, the $200 TTU education abroad fee, and other things like books and supplies, lunch and dinner. Um, we always try to include breakfast, even in, in the excursions. And if we can, we will include some lunches in the excursions, but we will let you know beforehand. It does not include travel and medical insurance, airfare, passport, and personal expenses. Okay. So are there any questions about this? And as you can see, it's also one of the, and as you can, can tell you better, it's one of the low cost programs. Yeah, that's correct. It is one of the lower cost programs. And if you guys want a full budget, you can get that on the website where you applied for the program. We do have a full budget, which includes those additional things that were not originally included. So if you need that, it is definitely posted online. Do you have any questions? So it can be any questions about courses, about Costa Rica, um, housing, um, any type, any other questions that you might have. Uh, what's like the vaccination requirement? Like, do you have to be fully vaccinated? Like the booster? Like what, what does that involve? Okay, so this is a tricky question because everything is changing so fast that I can tell you one thing today and it can change tomorrow. So Costa Rica is not requiring a vaccine to enter the country. If, um, if tourists are not vaccinated, they have to purchase a travel insurance, but the insurance that the OIA gives you at TTU covers COVID or has the, the requirements Costa Rica is asking for. Nonetheless, um, a lot of places will be asking for the vaccine in order to enter. So hotels can ask for it, restaurants can ask for it, um, shopping centers. So as of right now, this is in standby, but maybe by the time you come, it will be mandatory to go into places, not to come into the country, but to go to different places. And what you do is when you enter the country, you, you, fill, you fill out a health pass and it will, will automatically give you a QR code that that's what uh, the different commercial centers can ask for. Okay, okay, so like, for example, like me, like I'm already uh, vaccinated, like I already have like my two shots. So, but like the booster, you would say 
probably would not be like mandatory. No, it's not necessary. Right no. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, there's only I think a few places in Europe that might require a booster at this point, but we haven't been seeing it in lots of different places. But if anything is to change, we will let students know um, as soon as that change happens. Okay, thank you. And then uh, as far as like the due dates for the payments and all that stuff, that's on the website, correct? Or the application? Um, well, as far as the payments go, they'll usually start probably at the end of April for like a okay. deposit and then um, be like a week or two before you actually leave. You'll be back. Okay. And it will all go to your student business account. Okay. And Gabby, if you don't mind, could you talk a little bit about how the housing, um, what it's what it's like and how it's set up? Yes, let me find the presentation. Okay, so what we do is we rent and you would be the only ones here with some of our, our students. We rent a, some dorms, a, a complex of houses. They are strategically located. A, they are like a 15 minute walk away from from campus, it's a very safe walk. Students do it all the time because what this blue line that you see here, it's a park. So what you have, you would have to do is um, go here. It's campus. You would have to go across the park, and then this red line is the main street. It's about a, it's about one kilometer, and it's walking distance. Okay, this is the complex of, of houses. It's four houses. Each house sleeps about eight to 10 people. Um, each house has three bathrooms. So that means that you would only have to share bathrooms with one or two people um, maximum. And you would share the, the living space, the study areas, and it also has a fully equipped kitchen. It also has an outdoor social area. And it has AC, a internet, cable, all the things that you need. So this is one of the houses. This is the shared kitchen. That's the, the living space. And these are like study areas or eating areas. These are the rooms. Um, depending on how many people come to the study abroad, you would probably only have to share rooms with one more person. But if a lot of people come, uh, then there's one room that does share with more people. This is the outside social area. And then we have a this picture was taken before it was set up, but we set up a COVID quarantine space with a bed and its own bathroom. In case one of the students gets COVID, they would not, um, they can quarantine in the same house, but in a separate space to keep the other students safe. Thank you. Are there any questions about the dorms? And they provide daily breakfast, um, weekly laundry, and daily cleaning of the dorm of the of your room and the dorms. Any other questions? Doesn't have to be about housing. It can be about anything. 
Okay, well, that's about that's all I have. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I have a question about plane tickets. When should I be purchasing those? I know I had to wait till the max, like the minimum amount of people have signed up, but when do you think that should be? So um, our commitment deadline is mid-March. So after the commitment deadline, then we'll know the final numbers. And um, usually we start um, talking to students at the end of March, early um, April about flight information. Okay, thank you. And we also do a pre-orientation session before you come, like one month before you come, where we will tell you the places that we will be visiting, what do you have to bring? Um, we will talk more about money, transportation, security measures. Okay, so that's a, if we do it now, you'll forget by <laughs> by July, by June. So so we do it one month before you arrive. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? If not, that's all we had today. Um, thank you guys so much for attending. Um, and then again, if you have questions um, along the way, you can email me anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.